entire season looms for the Rockets, and only FSN provides you with a complete breakdown of the upcoming season. The Houston Rockets season preview, tonight on FSN Houston. A cold, chilly night in Stillwater for homecoming. Oklahoma State and Texas A&M about to kick off. Time now for your keys to the game brought to you by Oklahoma Farm Bureau. What's on the list, John Holt? Well, you know, they had the basketball bash here earlier with homecoming going on, so a basketball theme of sorts. Clog the lane. How about Jaborski Lane, the big running back for A&M? You can. He can wear down defense as he can. There must be a swarm of orange around him to bring him down. Win the tip. Win the conditions. There'll be a chance for 50-50 balls. Fast break returns. Matt Fox the kicking game. It is a fast break. OSU offense against the more delivery style from AM. Should be a shootout there. Very quickly down to the field for our hidden agenda. Here's Robert Allen. Our hidden agenda, motto and motto. Motto and motto with Matt Fodge against Justin Brantley. Two of the best punters in America. Motto and motto between Parrish Cox and what we're about to see. Kerry Franks, two of the best kickoff returners in America. Motto and motto, your hidden agenda. Okay, Cowboys will kick it off from left to right. Game time temperature around 43 degrees. As Bruce Redden will kick off with the wind out of the northwest. That is back at about 25 miles per hour. And Kerry Franks, a leading kickoff return man in the Big 12, deep to return it for the Aggies. Quentin Moore held the football for Redden, and it's a short kick, and it's fielded at the five-yard line. Straight ahead to the 10, to the 15, and Pierre Brown is brought down right at the 20-yard line. So it was a short kick fielded just beyond the five and taken up the middle of the field to the 20, where Texas A&M will begin first and 10 as they go from right to left into this 20 to 25 mile per hour northwesterly wind. You know, one of the things that always helps on special teams when you're covering kicks is you've got to have a wedge buster. Guess who busted that wedge for the Cowboys? Oh, no, none the less than uh, Julius Crossland. Who was one of four replacements put on the kickoff coverage unit this week by special teams coordinator Joe DeForest. He wanted some new bodies in there to see if that kickoff coverage could improve, and on that first kickoff, it certainly did. A&M out of the I formation on first and ten. McGee, the quarterback, fakes a handoff, throws it deep down the right side, man open, it's caught to midfield, to the 45 of Oklahoma State, and on the right side, tackled at the 40-yard line, the tight end, Martellus Bennett, hauled it in for a 40-yard gain. That's just the eighth pass play of 30 yards or more for Texas A&M. Bennett is shaken up on the play. It's a pickup of 40, and a Texas A&M first and 10 from the Cowboy 40-yard line. Cowboys came aggressively. They brought Andre Sexton off the right side, but good protection by A&M. Donovan Woods, the only safety deep for the Cowboys. Bennett ran behind Martel Van Zant, but Woods delivered the big blow. That's why Bennett's on the field. By the way, that opening kickoff was brought to you by Bank of Oklahoma. You're better off at BOK. Martellus Bennett with his 23rd reception of the year, and the first play from scrimmage goes for 40 yards for Texas A&M. Cowboy defense. The true freshman Patrick Levine starting at linebacker, joined in the starting lineup at the linebacker position by junior Jeremy Nathan out of Beggs, a junior. And Roderick Johnson, the junior inside linebacker who did not start at Kansas, only played about a dozen plays, getting the start. His true freshman Chris Collins is out for the year with a knee injury. A&M first and 10 from the Cowboy 40. Now McGee in the shotgun, gets the snap, runs the option to his right, and he's tackled for a six-yard loss. It was Roderick Johnson who came charging in there on the option play to tackle the sophomore A&M quarterback for a six-yard loss. In fact, they'll make it a five-yard loss. Back to the Cowboy 45, where it'll be second and 15. Boy, assignment football again when you run again when you run defenses against an option, and that is the play that Roderick Johnson needs to make this afternoon. He's off to a good start. The Cowboy defensive staff felt like they had a very good week in practicing against the option. They were hoping they'd fare better against A&M tonight. Now the Aggies go to a five-wide receiver package, three to the left, two to the right. McGee alone in the shotgun on second and 15 from the Cowboy 45. McGee gets the snap, drops back to pass, flushed, rolling to his right, throws it deep down the right side, and the pass is caught but out of bounds. Joey Thomas, the second string tight end, caught it on the right sideline but could not stay in bounds. So it's an incomplete pass. It'll set up a third down and 15 for Texas A&M from the Cowboy 45. John, the Cowboy defense has held opponents to 28% conversions on third downs. How about this? 
The Cowboys have stopped opponents 11 straight times on third down and five or more. Yeah, the other side of things, though, A&M has been very good on third down so far this season. We'll see how it plays out. Yes, we will. A&M leads the conference in third down conversion percentage. This is a third and 15 from the Cowboy 45. McGee gets a shotgun snap, back to pass, under pressure, now scrambling, running up the middle to the Cowboy 40 and tackled five yards short of the first down at the Oklahoma State 35. A gain of 10 yards on the run. Jeremy Nathan tackled the A&M quarterback. It's fourth and five, and with A&M going into this 20 to 25 mile per hour wind, and with Lane Newman not converting a field goal longer than 32 yards on the year, we'll expect the Aggies to go for it. Well, it looks like McGee's staying in there. The last two plays, Dave, the Cowboys have got a great push from their defensive ends. They just kind of left the middle open that time and gave McGee room to run. This is the first offensive possession of the game. A&M has moved it from its own 20 to the Cowboy 35, where they'll have a fourth and five. Bunch formation to the left as McGee gets a shotgun snap, drops back, throws in the near flat. Caught by Goodson, breaks a tackle at the 35, has a first down running on the left sideline and pushed out of bounds at the Oklahoma State 26. Jacob Lacey pushed him out of bounds and the true freshman, Mike Goodson, he baited a tackler near the line of scrimmage and advanced the ball up the field for eight yards at a Texas A&M first down. Well, I want to say that was Jacob Lacey. It was either him or Sexton that had a shot at him one-on-one. -on -one. As Robert was talking about the mano a mano there, just couldn't quite make the play. And and, Dave, you know, we haven't talked a whole lot about this, but you know, Goodson, of course, is the same young man who had originally committed to come to OSU, changed his mind, and is now a member of the A&M backfield and has seen quite a lot of time, and don't think some of these Cowboys are well aware of that. Texas A&M, after that fourth down conversion, first and 10 with the Oklahoma State 26 from the near hash mark. McGee on the zone read, hands it off to Goodson, running on the right side, and he's tackled in the backfield for a three-yard loss. Now Courtney Lewis in a tailback to the right of McGee in the shotgun on second and 13. It's a draw play handoff to Lewis straight ahead to the 25 of Oklahoma State and tackled at the Oklahoma State 22 by Donovan Woods. A gain of seven yards. It'll set up a big third down and six for Texas A&M from the Oklahoma State 22. Five receivers, three to the right, two to the left on third and six. McGee gets a shotgun snap. It's a blitz. They pick it up. It's a screen pass caught by Schrader up the middle to the 15, has the first down and tackled inside the Cowboy 10 at the nine and a half. It was a wide receiver screen to Chad Schrader, the senior, a former high school quarterback, caught that pass, maneuvered his way in between defenders and gained the necessary yards, 12 yards, for an A&M first and goal from the Oklahoma State 10. Well, you'd be surprised right now if you didn't start seeing number 11 in there, Javorski Lane, and he is in the game at this point because this is his type of territory, and this is where the Cowboys have to start gang tackling a little bit. Lane is 275 pounds, and he's a tailback on first and goal. McGee hands it off to Lane, running on the right side to the eight, and brought down at the seven. Brought down with a thud. Anything that big makes a thud. Patrick Levine, the linebacker, was able to knock the ball carrier to the ground. It'll be second and goal from about the six and a half. Lane is the tailback. McGee under center. Hands it off to Lane. Running straight ahead. Breaks a tackle at the six, but is stopped just a yard down the field at the Oklahoma State five. That's Roderick Johnson, who is by some margin the largest of the Cowboy linebackers at 255 pounds. He brought down the 280-pound tailback, and it's a big third and goal for A&M. McGee in the shotgun with split backs. On third and goal, McGee runs the option to the left, pitches it to Goodson. Goodson trying to turn a corner, tries to break free, swarmed and brought down at the six-yard line for a loss of one. Donovan Woods and Roderick Johnson teamed up to make the play as Goodson was trying to avoid a tackler way back in the 10, got past one guy, could not get past the swarm. And A&M on fourth and goal from the Cowboys six will send in the field goal unit, but remember, A&M will use some tricks in the kicking game. In fact, Joe DeForest told us earlier this week he counted no less than four fake field goals executed successfully by A&M over the past two years. Let's see if they try one here. Lane Newman is a left-footed kicker. This will be a 23-yard field goal from the near hash mark. Snap back, ball down, line drive, kick on the way into the wind, and it's good. So Texas A&M kept out of the end zone, but the Aggies have the ball for six minutes and 36 seconds, marching 74 yards in 11 plays to take a 3-0 lead over Oklahoma State. We'll pause. This is a Cowboy football network.
They're the number one trucks in Texas. With power and payload folks here need. A level of refinement unmatched by any competitor. And more trucks on the road with over 250,000 miles than any other brand. Now get a new F-150 Texas Edition with 5,000 cash back or 0% financing for 60 months. Get to your Texas Ford dealer today and make your move. Ford is the best in Texas. MoveForFree.com presents your move. This is Spike. This is Richard. He did not use MoveForFree.com. He used his weekends and all his spare time to find an apartment. And now he's moving himself. How 90s. Spike logged on to MoveForFree.com, found an incredible deal on an incredible place, and he's moving for free. Heck, it's all free. The moral of the story? Don't be a dick. Log on. MoveForFree.com, the first address for your next address. The tests are completed. The results are in. The 2006 Kia Sedona is the first and only minivan to earn both the Insurance Institute's top safety pick and the government's five-star crash safety rating in all four categories. The 2006 Kia Sedona, the highest safety rated minivan ever built. Get 3,000 cash back plus 1,000 competitive bonus or 1,000 owner loyalty bonus. 8.24 to go first quarter. A&M on top of Oklahoma State. 3 nothing after a field goal capping an 11 play drive. Stephen McGee 3 of 4 on that drive. Come visit your Oklahoma Chevy team dealers during this football season. Register for the OSU Ultimate Fan Experience for each home game. One lucky fan wins four game tickets, four hospitality tickets, a football autograph by Mike Gundy, and a behind-the-scenes tour. See your local Oklahoma Chevy team dealer for more details. 3 nothing Texas A&M, as John said. Matt Szymanski will kick it off for A&M. Right-footed soccer-style kicker strikes it. The wind really holds it up as it goes toward the left sideline. And it's fielded by the Cowboys. Grant Jones running across the field to the 15, 20, 25, 30. Right sideline, 35 to the 40, 45 to midfield. And finally tackled on the right side at the Texas A&M 47-yard line. The Oklahoma State kickoff team, the kickoff return team, leads the nation. And there's another big kickoff return, this one to the pride of Pawnee, Grant Jones. And they kick that ball to the right side of the field and Grant Jones comes all the way back over. They set up the wall on the Cowboys' right side. Excellent blocking by the special teams. That's a 41-yard return by Jones. Bobby Reed, the sophomore quarterback, in the shotgun on first and 10 from the AM and 47. The snap sails past him. Bobby wasn't looking for it. And oh, Reed gonna... is going to be called down. The referee says he was down, falling on the football way back at the Oklahoma State 40. The ball squirted free a second time as Bobby apparently turned his head when the ball was snapped and the ball sailed past him. So it's a loss of 13 yards back to the Oklahoma State 40 where it will be second down. Wow, Franchoni was over there talking to the official on the A&M sideline, trying to debate whether or not he wanted to challenge that, I'm sure. So it'll be second down and 23. Cowboys of their own 40. It's 3-0 A&M. Midway through the first, high formation with John Johnson and Mike Hamilton in the backfield. Two receivers to the left side, DeWan Woods and Adarius Bowman as Reed hands it off to Hamilton, running off left tackle to the 45, to midfield, still on his feet and brought down after an 11-yard gain at the Texas A&M 49. Melvin Bullitt, the strong safety made the tackle, but it's a big third and 12 coming up for Oklahoma State. Well, good blocking on the left side by Corey Hilliard and also by Adarius Bowman, shielding his man and helping Hamilton pick up about five or six more. Third and 12 coming up. The Cowboys are an amazing 43% on third downs and five yards or more. This is a tricky one, though. Third and 12 from the Texas A&M 49. Only one safety back deep for the Aggies. Three receivers in the game as Reed gets a shotgun snap, rolls out to his right, fires it down the right sideline, and a diving catch is made. About a yard shy of the first down by DeWan Woods, who's now caught a pass in 28 consecutive games. It'll be fourth down and one for the Cowboys from the Texas A&M, 38 and a half. Big call here coming up for Mike Gundy. Well, here comes John Johnson in for toast and also Justin Waller. Looks like they're going to line it up and try to pound it at him. Cowboys have had a hard time running it in short yardage situations. This is surely one of those times. Fourth and one from the A&M 
38-yard line. It took a long time in that huddle. He's only got 10 on the play clock. High formation, two tight ends on fourth and one. DeWan Woods goes in motion to the far side. Reed runs the option to the right. Keeps it, has the first down to the 35 and all the way down to the Texas A&M 31-yard line. A gain of eight yards for Bobby Reed on the option and a first down for Oklahoma State from the Yankee 31. Well, a tight formation up front by the Cowboys meant the defensive line was all packed in too and the Aggies had about seven in the box there. DeJuan Woods took one of them left. They were just plenty of room on the right side for Bobby Reed. The Cowboys quickly up to the line for the next play. First to 10 from the Texas A&M 31. 3-0 A&M. Five and a half minutes left to play in the first. DeJuan Woods split to the right. Ricky Price and Darius Bowman to the left. Reed fakes a handoff. Drops back. Goes over the middle. And the pass is caught by Brandon Pettigrew, the tight end at the Texas A&M 15-yard line. A gain of 16 yards on the play. Michael Corey made the hit for A&M. It's a first and 10 for Oklahoma State. Boy, he was all over him, too. Great concentration by Pettigrew as the hit came just as the ball got there. It was Devin Gregg, the safety correction, who made the tackle for the Aggies. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the A&M 15. Reed in the shotgun. Mike Hamilton in a one-back set to his left. On first down, Reed gets a snap, runs the option to the left, keeps it to the 10, to the 5, and tackled inside the 5, near a first down at the Texas A&M 4-yard line. Chris Harrington, the defensive end, made the tackle, but not after. Bobby Reed gained 10 yards, and he's very close. In fact, they say he has picked up 10 yards, and a first and goal for Oklahoma State from the A&M 4-yard line. Now, the important thing here, Dave, is we've seen OSU try to pound it in on teams and then have to resort to the little pop pass to the tight end Pettigrew or the rollout pass to the fullback curling out of the backfield. Let's see if the Cowboys can make some hay and get in the end zone without having to go to the air. Remember, the Cowboys got themselves out of a second and 23 hole on this drive. Now it's first and goal for the Texas A&M four. One back set with Mike Hamilton. Adarius Bowman goes in motion to the left side from the left hash mark. Reed hands it off to Hamilton straight ahead and he dives toward the end zone. Did he get in? No, his knee touched the ground about a half yard shy of the goal line. The fans thought he got in, but Mike Hamilton's knee hit the ground just before the goal line. It'll be second and a half yard to go for Oklahoma State to get into the end zone. Well, that was close, and a great job by Hamilton of stretching the ball over the goal line, but that was a quick, decisive call by the official on the sideline over there to come in and say, no, he was down. Second and goal, Oklahoma State from the A&M half-yard line. Aggies lead 3-0. Cowboys trying to take the lead. Reed under center. High formation from the A&M one. Bobby with a long count. John Johnson bouncing around in motion. Handoff to Hamilton straight ahead, and he barrels his way into the end zone. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And that's a really good sign for the Cowboy offense. When you dominate a team up front like that and you just mash it into the end zone, you not only score six points, but you send a message to them that you're not just about throwing it through the air and getting into the end zone for points, but you can move it on two on the ground. Swinging gate formation for the Cowboys on the extra point as OSU will try to go up 7-3. Remember, Bobby Reed had turned his head on a shotgun snap on the first play from scrimmage, and the Cowboys lost 13 yards, yet they're able to move the ball to the end zone. Eight plays and 47 yards on the drive. Jason Ricks on for the point after. Snap good. Now there's miscommunication, and Cole Reynolds trying to run away from the Pressure coming from the Texas A&M defense is swarmed and tackled, and the conversion attempt is no good. Oklahoma State 6, Texas A&M 3, as Bruce Redden kicks it off from left to right, line drive kick that sails five yards deep into the end zone, and Kerry Franks turns and watches it bounce through the end zone. Mike Hamilton's touchdown run has given the Cowboys a 6-3 lead, his fourth touchdown of the year. Cowboys failed on the conversion attempt. Now AM with the ball first and 10. Sophomore quarterback Stephen McGee in the shotgun. McGee gets the snap, runs his own read, running on the right side to the 25, turns a corner but steps out of bounds. Up at the AM 27 yard line. That was a nice fake to Jaborski Lane. Then McGee kept it. 
and took it for seven yards. Thank you, Robert. Second and three A&M from its own 27. McGee fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, flush from the pocket, scrambling, and he's sacked! Tackled for a five-yard loss back at the 22-yard line. It was Roderick Johnson again who tackled McGee for a five-yard loss. It'll be third and eight for A&M. McGee in the shotgun, five wide receivers, three to the left, two to the right. Cowboys with four down linemen on third and eight. McGee gets the snap, drops back to pass, pocket collapsing. Now he's scrambling, running straight ahead, has the first down to the 30, to the 35, and tackled on the right side at the 39-yard line. A 16-yard scramble for a first down by Stephen McGee as Andre Sexton made the tackle for Oklahoma State. You can almost see that coming, too, in the formation, the way they had the Cowboys so spread across the field. One issue there, Nathan Peterson had pushed up the field. He couldn't get off of the tackle who was making the block on the side. He just almost had a shot at McGee and couldn't quite get disengaged. Cowboys 6, Texas A&M 3. Aggies with the football first and 10 from their own 38. Out of the eye, Stephen McGee, the sophomore quarterback under center, gets a snap, hands it off on a counterplay to Jaborski Lane. The bowling ball tail back at 274 pounds, stumbles forward for a three-yard gain up to the Oklahoma State 42. It'll be second and seven, a strong safety. Andre Sexton made the tackle for the Cowboys. On second down and about five for a and from its own 42. McGee, quick throw right side. The pass is high and it's incomplete. McGee in the shotgun. One back set with Goodson on third and six. McGee gets a snap. Safety blitz coming. It's a wide receiver screen caught by Brown to the 44, but tackled in the center of the field. Three yards short of the first down at the AM 45. Cowboys came with a safety blitz. Victor de Great retreated to make the tackle. It'll be fourth and three for AM. And Justin Brantley will be punting the ball into that win. Standing at his own 30, high snap, steps into it. Line drive, knuckleball kick, bounces at the 22, goes inside the 15, picked up on the hop by Parrish Cox at the 10, running toward the left sideline to the 15, makes a cut to the 20, and advances the ball all the way up to the Cowboy 27 yard line. Parrish Cox is absolutely fearless returning punts, and that one bounced a couple of times before he picked it up, reversed his field, and took it up to the Cowboy 27. Cowboys lead A&M 6-3 late in the first on first and 10. Reed back to pass, scrambling to his right. Can run it, he'll keep it. Running on the right sideline to the 25, to the 30, and tackled up at the Oklahoma State 33-yard line. Gain of about five yards, we'll call it six. It'll be second down and four for the Cowboys when the second quarter begins. One quarter in the books on homecoming 2006 in Stillwater. It's Oklahoma State 6, number 23, Texas A&M 3. We'll pause on the Cowboy Radio Network. FSN Southwest packs in the football this Saturday. We start at 2 with a gridiron preview on College Football Saturday kickoff. Then at 2.30, it's a Pac-10 battle between USC and Oregon State. Followed at 6 by Southwest Football Saturday. Then at 7, the Southland Conference has Texas State taking the field against Southeast Louisiana. Followed by a dose of hardcore football at 10.30. Watch college football Saturday on FSN. Zero percent is back. That's right at Palmer Kia in downtown Bryan. You only get to choose from of the safest vehicles on the road with the best warranty around. But right now you get zero percent financing. How about the rugged and roomy Kia Sorento, the mid-size SUV with the highest side impact safety rating. Right now, 0% APR for up to 3750 cash back. And of course, it comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. At Palmer Kia, we're not happy until you're happy. We're a customer-conscious organization, and I know that everybody says that, but the difference out here is if you do have a problem, you really can call me because I am here all the time. I'm not an absentee owner. I'm here all the time, and that's that's the truth. That's why we ha we take the approach we do to our customers. So we want everybody to feel comfortable walking in here. My door's never closed. So now when you're in here talking to me. <laughs> Southwest. Start of the second quarter here at Boone Pickens Stadium. The Cowboys on top of Texas A&M 6-3. OSU will work into the wind in the second quarter as Reed hands it off to Hamilton. Turns a corner on the right side, has a first down to the 40, and finally knocked out of bounds up at the Cowboy 43-yard line. That's a gain of 10 yards for Mike Hamilton running around right end. 
He had a clear path to run through as he picked up 10 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. On first and 10, Reed gets a snap, runs the option to the right, pitches it to Hamilton. Does a tightrope walk on the right sideline and scampers up the sideline for about a three-yard gain. Up to the Cowboy 46 from the right hash mark. AM with four men on the line. They cheat another into the box on the right side. The safety comes up. Now backs away as Reed gets the snap, drops back, tried to throw it short, but the ball batted down at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Red Bryant, the defensive tackle, a three-year starter for the Aggies in the defensive interior, got one of his 6'5", 324-pound paws up in the air and knocked it down. It'll be third and seven for Oklahoma State. And that may have been the best push up front by a and defensive line that they've had so far tonight. We take a look at the replay up on the big screen. You can see, yeah, they just kind of clogged up the middle a little bit, and he just times that, getting that big left hand up just perfectly. Third and seven, Oklahoma State from its own 46. Reed in the shotgun, two receivers to his left. Anthony Parks split alone to the right as Bobby gets the snap, drops back, sets up. Now he'll run straight ahead to midfield. Has the first down at the 46 and tackled at the Texas A&M 45-yard line. A gain of nine yards by sophomore quarterback Bobby Reed before linebacker Misi Toupe made the tackle. First down, Oklahoma State. Just like on that option run we saw him take into the end zone for the touchdown last week at Kansas, decisive, and he breaks an arm tackle, runs strong, and avoids a big hit by Bullock. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the Texas A&M 45. Reed in the shotgun. Drive started at the Cowboy 26. Two receivers to the right, two tight ends in the game. Reed ready for the shotgun snap. Gets it. Drops back to pass, sets up, throws it deep down the middle of the field. It's incomplete. He threw it into double coverage, intended for Dewan Woods. Second and 10 Cowboys from the AM 45. Reed fakes a reverse, hands it off to Hamilton straight ahead off left guard. He gains three down to the AM 42. Cowboys third and seven from the AM 42. Three receivers, Bobby Reed in the shotgun with Mike Hamilton to his right. Bobby gets a snap, rolls out to his right, throws to the far side, and the pass is caught by DeJuan Woods for a Cowboy first down at the A&M 32-yard line. A gain of 10 yards on the comeback route. First down, Oklahoma State. Well, Jordan Peterson is the redshirt freshman over there. He's played pretty well for the Aggies, and he has to give DeJuan a little bit of room, but credit DeJuan with running a great route and getting himself open, and Bobby puts it right on the money. Bobby Reed now, three out of five, throwing the football for 39 yards, and he's rushed for 20 yards in the game. Cowboys on the move, first and 10 from the AM 32. Adarius Bowman, DeWan Woods split to the left, Ricky Price alone to the right. Reed in the shotgun, Mike Hamilton in a one back set. On first and 10, Reed gets a snap, drops back to pass, sets up, throws it deep down the middle, and the pass is intercepted. In the end zone by Texas A&M's Danny Gore, he overthrew the intended receiver, DeWan Woods, and the Cowboys turn it over. Well, it looked like DeWan had broken it off a little bit early, or maybe he was in the right spot. Bobby threw it way too long, but defensive back had his eyes on the ball the whole way. He interception for Gore. Just the sixth interception thrown by Bobby Reed this year. Oklahoma State. 10 from its own 22. Dantrell Savage in the game for the first time. Lined up as a single setback as Reed gets a shotgun snap. Runs the option to the left. Cuts back to the middle to the 25 and dives forward. Up to the 28-yard line. A gain of six yards. Brock Newton made the tackle for AM. It'll be seconded four. Bobby Reed is down. Dave and the trainers have come out. He's rolled over onto his knees. Took a pretty good shot at the end of that play. Now Reed's backup is Zach Robinson, the redshirt freshman from Littleton, Colorado, who was born in Edmond. Has not played since the Florida Atlantic game, the third game of the season. His work has been very limited at quarterback. You might remember that during the spring, Mike Gundy basically opened up the quarterback competition. Four grabs between Al Pena, who started a handful of games a year ago, Reed, and this very highly regarded quarterback, Zach Robinson who has a very surprising ability to run the football. He has good speed, was a wide receiver in high school until his senior year when he moved to the quarterback position. Now is very highly thought of backup quarterback to Bobby Reed. He just doesn't have much experience. He's been warming up on the near sideline with true freshman tailback Keith Toaston as Reed is being helped to the sideline. 
And Zach Robinson will come into the game. So Zach Robinson under center on second and four, hands it off to Hamilton, running on the left side, hitting the backfield, but squirts his way back up near the line of scrimmage at the 29-yard line of Oklahoma State. It'll be third and three from there. And remember, he's a good runner. He's in the shotgun now with Mike Hamilton in a one-back set to his left on third and three from the 28. And Robinson there, runs the option to his left, makes a cut to the 29, but is tackled at the 30-yard line, two yards shy of the first down as A&M had that play well defensed. Gain of about a yard on the play. It'll be fourth and two, and the Cowboys will have to punt it away. Cowboys lead 6-3 midway through the second. High snap. Bodge retrieves it. Hits a knuckleball line drive that bounces at the 41 of AM, Goes inside the 40. Rolling on its belly inside the 35 and down at the AM 34-yard line. And the fans, some of the players on the sideline, thought the ball touched an AM player. The officials are not giving us that indication. That was a 37-yard punt, depending on where they spot it. Well, this now they're be, trying to decide if a Cowboy player may have touched it further up the field. I think that's what happened, Dave, before any of this other stuff. I think we hit off one of the Cowboys, just like the previous punt by AM bounced off an AM player, and that's why they had it at the 22 instead of the 20. 8.39 left in the second. 8.35. An official timeout. Oh, no, it's an illegal touching. Well, it's not illegal touching. It just did bounce off of one of the Cowboys. But, well, they just showed a replay, and it's... We can just show it again. We just missed the instance where it was touched. Timeout on the field. So that punt goes for just 29 yards. Cowboys 6, A&M 3. Eight and a half left to play in the second quarter as Cowboy football for most communications continues in a moment. Right now is the best time to get the best deals on this year's hottest ATVs. During Suzuki's Quad Fair, finance award-winning ATVs for as low as $59 a month. So get moving to Plano Suzuki or Suzuki North for Quad Fair 2006. These deals won't last. When it's time to go, Texans go all the way. And now you can go even farther using less fuel in a 2006 Ford Explorer. For a limited time, get financing as low as 0% for up to 60 months. Or choose cash rebates up to five grand. Plus, save big on a fuel-efficient 2007 Ford Escape. Right now, you can get cash allowances up to $2,000. Or pay just $9.99 down and drive one for only $2.89 a month. Ford SUVs are definitely the way to go. Visit your Texas Ford dealer. MoveForFree.com presents your move. This is Spike. This is Richard. He did not use MoveForFree.com. He used his weekends and all his spare time to find an apartment. And now he's moving himself. How 90s. Spike logged on to MoveForFree.com, found an incredible deal on an incredible place. And he's moving for free. Heck, it's all free. The moral of the story? Don't be a dick. Log on. MoveForFree.com, the first address for your next address. Right now is the best time to get the best deals on this year's hottest ATVs. During Suzuki's Quad Fair, finance award-winning ATVs for as low as $59 a month. So get moving to Plano Suzuki or Suzuki North for Quad Fair 2006. These deals won't last. Eight minutes and 30 seconds left to play in the first half. Cowboys lead Texas A&M 6-3. Aggies with a football first to 10 from their own 41. McGee in the shotgun with a pair of receivers to each side and Courtney Lewis in a one-back set to his right. On first and ten, McGee gets the snap. Quick throw over the middle and a diving catch made by Urban Taylor near a first down as he caught the ball over the middle at the Oklahoma State 49-yard line. Out of the I formation on first and ten, McGee wants to run the option pass. Now he's scrambling, running straight ahead off right guard, and he picks up nice yardage. Advancing the ball down to the Cowboy 45, Andre Sexton made the tackle. He faked the handoff and looked like he wanted to drop back to pass. Took off running with it, gained four yards. It'll be second and six for the Aggies. Seven and a half minutes left to play in the first half. Cowboy quarterback Bobby Reed was injured on the last series. We don't have an update on his status yet. Second and four, A&M hands it off on a draw play to Courtney Lewis. Straight ahead to the 40, 35, and tackled all the way down at the Oklahoma State 31. That's a gain of 14 yards as Andre Sexton made the tackle. And Courtney Lewis, who's missed three games this year with an injury, but had led the Aggies in rushing in each of the last three years, stretches his stuff on that draw play for 14 yards. Well, they got Nathan Peterson sealed inside on a double-team block there. That helped spring Lewis with a lot of green in front of him. Howard Morrow split to the right. Urban Taylor to the left. Offset eye. 
Jaborski Lane now. Check that. Mike Goodson in at tailback for the Aggies on first and 10 from the Oklahoma State 31. It's a delayed handoff to Goodson. Running off left guard. Big hole to the 30. Down to the 25 and tackled at the 24-yard line by Donovan Woods. A seven-yard gain. Offset eye. Alexander and Lewis in the backfield. Schrader split to the right on second and three for AM from the Cowboy 24. McGee gets the snap, hands it off to Lewis, trying to turn a corner on the right side, squirts free from a tackle in the backfield, and slips down to the Cowboy 22. Martel Van Zandt finally brought him down. McGee under center, high formation, third and one, a handoff to Lane, straight ahead, makes a cut to his right, lowers his shoulder, and barrels his way for a first down running on the left side. Down to the Oklahoma State 20. First down, Texas a and well, I tell you what, he does barrel because that's the way he runs, but you know, Cowboy defenders that are much outsized right there, Levine and also Van Zant, they got him to the ground pretty quick. They didn't give up four or five yards when it looked like they could have. So Texas a and first and 10 from the Oklahoma State 20. This drive started at the A&M 41. They've taken it down to the Cowboy 20. Courtney Lewis in a one-back set, bunch formation to the right. Now Lewis goes in motion, split out to the right side, empty backfield as McGee gets the snap, throws it to Barron. It's a double pass, and the pass is intercepted at the two-yard line. Donovan Wood snuffed out the play and intercepted the pass down at the three-yard line. Pierre Brown was going to throw it on a double pass. He threw it down the field intended for Lewis, and Donovan Woods, the former Cowboy quarterback, cut in front of it and intercepted the ball to deny the Aggies. Let's go down to Robert Allen. Guys, that's the difference between a freshman and a guy who's been around a while. The freshman, Paris Cox, bit hard on the screen pass. He came back into the backfield. Wide, the, the wide receiver, who in that case was Lewis, was wide open, but the safety came from the middle of the field. Donovan Woods saw that from the get-go, guys. Big, big-time play by a guy who's been around back there and also been a quarterback. So Zach Robinson back out onto the field for his second series at quarterback. First significant game action of this redshirt freshman quarterback's career. He'll have an eye formation behind him. And, and nine men in the box there, too, for the Aggies, Dave. Robinson is under center on first and ten for the Cowboys from their own three, working into the wind. Robinson hands it off to Dantrell Savage, off right guard, nice hole to the eight, and all the way up to the Cowboy nine-yard line. Gain of six yards for the junior college transfer, Dantrell Savage. Now Robinson in the shotgun with Savage to his left in a one-back set. Second down and four. It's a handoff on the zone read to Savage, straight ahead to the ten, and brought down at the ten, running off right guard after a one-yard pickup. Bobby Reed on the sideline injured. So the redshirt freshman Zach Robinson goes to the shotgun on third and three for Oklahoma State from its own 10. Two receivers to his left, one to his right. One back set as Zach gets the snap, drops back the pass, throws over the middle. The pass is dropped by DeJuan Woods incomplete at the 15-yard line. Fourth and three, and Matt Fodge will punt into the wind out of his own end zone. First punt traveled just 30 yards. Good snap. Fodge steps into it. Another knuckleball line drive fielded by Schrader at the Cowboy 40. To the left sideline to the 35 and knocked out of bounds at the Oklahoma State 31-yard line. Three minutes left in the first half. Cowboys lead 6-3. Stephen McGee in the shotgun gets the snap. Runs his own read, keeping it. Running to his right to the 30, 25. And he carries tacklers for a first down all the way down to the Oklahoma State 20-yard line. Jacob Lacey finally tackled the A&M quarterback. He gained 11 yards, though, and it's a Texas A&M first down. Let's go down to the sideline. Robert Allen has an update on Oklahoma State quarterback Bobby Reed. Uh, fans are looking. Bobby just went to the tunnel with several of the medical personnel. Still has not taken off the, uh, the jersey of the shoulder pads. Obviously going to the uh, locker room probably for an x-ray. Thank you, Robert. Out of the offset eye, A&M first and 10 from the Cowboy 20. McGee gets the snap, hands it off to Lewis, straight ahead. Swarmed in the backfield and tackled for no gain. Aggies here with a second and 10 from the Cowboy 20. Jaborski Lane in at tailback. Out of the offset eye, McGee under center, fakes the handoff, drops back to pass, sets up, throws short, right side caught by Schrader to the 12, and he tried to dive toward the first down marker as he went out of bounds, and he may have picked it up. 
at the Oklahoma State 10 yard line. That's the senior, Chad Schrader, making the reception in the right flat and pushing the ball down to about the Oklahoma State 10 and they'll have to measure for the first down. And they'll bring the change from all the way from the other side of the field too. But you know, McGee had time and he waited on Schrader and he just came over at the right instant. Let's go down to Robert Allen, Robert. Well, Rob Hunt, the uh, Cowboys trainer, just came over and, and mentioned to me pretty much what we said earlier. He called it a reevaluation. Bobby's going to the locker room, to the training room, to be reevaluated. A&M first and goal from the Oklahoma State 10. Backs are split. McGee gets a shotgun snap. Fakes a handoff. He'll keep it running up the middle, and he goes nowhere. Stuffed at the 10-yard line for no gain. Looked like there was confusion on that running play. The, looked like a version of the triple option out of the shotgun that was not executed properly, and we have a timeout. Texas A&M with a minute 25 left in the first half. Second and goal, A&M from the Cowboy 10. Goodson leaves the backfield, split out as a wide receiver to the far left. Five wide receivers, McGee in the shotgun. On second and goal, he gets the snap. Throws quickly to the right side. The pass is caught by Bennett inside the two, and he carries a defender into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. That's Martellus Bennett at 6'7 and 248 pounds, using his size and strength to gain the three extra yards as he carried Donovan Woods into the end zone, and A&M takes a lead with a minute 18 left to play in the first half. And again, they spread you out, the three receivers to the left, and then no backs back there with McGee, but he has time, and he has time for someone to come open. And when you're that big, Bennett, 6'7", and Parrish Cox met him at about the two, and that was a mismatch. Newman in for the point after. He's perfect this year, 15 out of 15. Left-footed soccer-style kicker. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. So with a minute 18 left to play in the first half, Texas A&M takes advantage of good field position. They go 41 yards on six plays. And the 10-yard touchdown throw from Stephen McGee to Martellus Bennett has given the Aggies a 10-6 lead over Oklahoma State. One half in the books on homecoming in Stillwater. Texas A&M, ranked number 25 and number 23, has a 10-6 lead over Oklahoma State. Cowboy football for most communications continues in a moment. It's good old-fashioned hard work. <laughs> Just push it to the limit. No pain. No gain. GMAC and Lucy are getting ready for the season, and it's here. Opening night is Saturday, November 4th, against the Western Conference champion Dallas Mavericks. GMAC, this is how we do it old school. So get your tickets now by calling 713-627-DUNK or by visiting rockets.com. One, two. Zero percent is back. That's right at Palmer Key in downtown Bryan. You only get to choose from of the safest vehicles on the road with the best warranty around, but right now you get zero percent financing. This is a great time to come in and test drive the Kia Sedona minivan, the safest minivan ever built. Right now, zero percent APR or up to $3,000 cash back. And of course, it comes with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. At Palmer Kia, we're not happy until you're happy. three final days at Lawrence Marshall Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Hempstead. Zero percent for 60 months on Dodge Ram trucks, caravans, and Durangos, or up to $6,000 cash back. Zero percent for five years on Jeep Commander, Grand Cherokee, and Liberty. Chrysler Town & Country and Pacifica, plus the best cash back ever on Chrysler 300s. Just call 1-866-CLIBER or drive out Highway 290 to Lawrence Marshall in Hempstead. We clobber big city prices. Trip of your own. Boys have returned to the field, and Robert will be catching up with head coach Mike Gundy to get his thoughts on the first half. Again, repeating what we've just learned from Robert Allen. Cowboys starting quarterback Bobby Reed is out for the rest of the game with an undisclosed injury. Let's go down to the sideline. Robert Allen with the head coach, Mike Gundy. Thanks, Dave. And uh, Mike, uh, talking about the first half, in particular, defense played pretty well. Offense had their moments. And then, of course, uh, the injury to Bobby was big. Well, we, we're going to rally around Zach. But we've got a plan to run the football and continue with our offense. Uh, he's got to go out and play well. When you get a guy hurt, next guy's got to step in and play well. Defense needs to keep hitting them hard and keep tackling. They're doing a good job. they got to come up with some big plays, change the field position. We'll be in good shape. All right, good luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, back upstairs to Dave and John. Hey, Robert, thanks very much. Parrish Cox and 
Grant Jones deep to return to kick off from Matt Szymanski. He'll be kicking off into the wind. The Cowboys have the nation's best kickoff return unit, averaging 33 yards per return, and Grant Jones ripped off a 41-yarder to set up the Cowboys' only touchdown tonight. Szymanski, the right-footed soccer-style kicker, strikes it. It's high, end over end, but short. Taken by Parrish Cox on the run at the 12 to the 20, 25 to the 30. Spins to the 32 and is tackled on the right side at the 33-yard line. A 21-yard return. Cowboys will have respectable field position starting from their own 33-yard line. So redshirt freshman Zach Robinson in there in the shotgun on first and 10. He hands it off to Mike Hamilton running on the right side to the sideline to the 41. And he steps out of bounds after gaining first down yardage all the way up at the Cowboy 44. A gain of 11 for Mike Hamilton, who now has 43 yards on eight carries. First down, Oklahoma State. Solid job by the offensive line holding their ground. And then Ricky Price with a great block on the outside. And Hamilton picked up the first down with ease. A Darius Bowman in the slot to the left. DeJuan Woods split out. Ricky Price alone split to the right side. Zach Robinson, the redshirt freshman quarterback, working in relief of the injured Bobby Reed. In the shotgun with Dantrell Savage to his right on first and 10 from the Cowboy 44. Robinson hands it off to Savage. Bouncing around, breaks free to midfield. Still in his feet to the 48 of A&M, and he lowers his head, advancing the ball near a first down at the Texas A&M 46-yard line. That's Dantrell Savage at his best, dancing around, making guys miss, and pushing the pile near a first down. I think he has it. Yes, he does. A 10-yard gain, first to 10 from the A&M 46. Brandon Pettigrew helping open that seam on the right side, too. Dave, we saw the offense not manhandle A&M's defensive front, but for a large part of the first half, they controlled the line of scrimmage. Now I formation with Robinson under center. John Johnson, the fullback. Mike Hamilton in it, tailback on first and 10. Robinson fakes a handoff, drops back, sets up, throws it deep down the middle, and the pass is incomplete. DeJuan Woods had a great chance to catch it at the Texas A&M 10-yard line. The ball was a little bit high. I thought DeJuan might come down with it. Danny Gore was there in coverage. It's incomplete, second and 10 coming up. I'm wondering how much the wind played with that because DeJuan slowed down a step instead of continuing the pattern and maybe the wind carried it just to the right or left just a little bit because he had position to make the catch. Second and 10, Oklahoma State from the A&M 45. 10-6 A&M leads the Cowboys. We're a minute into the second half. Zach Robinson, the redshirt freshman in the shotgun, gets a snap, hands it off to Hamilton on the zone read, and he's tackled at the line of scrimmage, running up the middle for no gain. OSU 0 for 2 in its last two attempts. Three receivers to the left, and one Wood split alone to the right. Zach Robinson in the shotgun, one back set with Mike Hamilton to his left on third and 10 from the A&M 45. Robinson throws a screen, caught by Hamilton, cuts to the middle to the 40, still in his feet to the 38, and he falls forward close to a first down at about the 35 and a half of A&M. I think he's about a half yard shy. Mike Hamilton made a nice cut at about the 41 and then advanced it up to about the 36. He's short, maybe a half yard shy, and it's fourth and about a yard. And what's Mike Gundy going to do? He went for a down on the Cowboys' touchdown scoring drive, and Bobby Reed ran the option for about six yards. And what's the choice here? You know, you've done a good job up front. You know, you, you had Hamilton get caught to play before in the backfield a little bit, just got back to the line of scrimmage. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think this is an obvious go for it. They're going for it. Out of the eye, about a half yard to go. Fourth down, Cowboys from the AM 36. Robinson under center. Runs the option on the right side, keeps it. And Robinson has the first down all the way down to the AM 33-yard line. Devin Craig, the free safety, made the tackle. That play looked a little funky when it started, but Zach Robinson took it for two yards and the Cowboy first down. Very similar to the play they ran on fourth and short on the touchdown drive in the first half. They ran the option and Bobby Reed picked up the yardage. The reason it looked funky is that Robinson sort of bumped into the fullback, John Johnson, as he was trying to move off right tackle. High formation on first and 10. It's a delayed handoff to Dantrell Savage. Makes a cut to the 30. To his left to the 27. And tackled at the 25 of Texas A&M. Devin Craig made the tackle, but not after the junior college transfer tailback. Dantrell Savage took it off left tackle for eight yards. It'll be second and two. I'm telling you what, Mike Gundy said they have a plan to run the ball. And so far, it's working beautifully. And except when the Cowboys were pinned deep after they picked off the pass, they got conservative there. A&M knew they were going to run the ball there. 
They've done a good job up front on this drive. Second and two, Oklahoma State from the A&M 25. The drive started at the Cowboy 33. 10-6, Texas A&M leads Oklahoma State. 11 and a half minutes left to play in the third. Robinson gets a shotgun snap, hands it off to Savage, straight ahead to the 20, to the 15, crashes through a tackler at the 14, and his forward progress is stopped at the Texas A&M 12-yard line. A gain of 13 yards for Dantrell Savage before Melvin Bullitt stopped his forward progress. First down, Oklahoma State. Well, that's impressive work up front. The offensive line is winning that war in the trenches. They're pushing the A&M front four back. Let's go down to Robert Allen. Robert. Uh, quick update on Bobby Reed. He has been taken to the hospital for a CAT scan, guys. Uh, now we've got it confirmed. The injury is a concussion. It is a concussion to Bobby Reed. Okay, thanks, Robert. Mike Hamilton in a tailback on first and ten. Robinson back to pass. Throws it toward the right side, and the pass is caught by John Johnson. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. The fullback, John Johnson. Great throw by Zach Robinson. Melvin Bullitt was beaten. He was watching the blitz in the backfield. Mike Hamilton also with a key block on the linebacker coming through to give Robinson just enough time. Hey, it wasn't a tight spiral, but it wasn't like a duck either, and it doesn't matter because he got in the end zone. John Johnson has nine career catches at Oklahoma State, five of those for touchdowns. Extra point attempt coming up for Jason Ricks. Trying to make it 13-10. Snap back. Ball down. Kick on the way. And it's good. The red shirt freshman quarterback, Zach Robinson, marches the Cowboys 67 yards in nine plays to pay dirt. And his first collegiate touchdown throw goes for 12 yards and gives the Cowboys a lead. It's 13-10. Oklahoma State over Texas A&M. 11-08 left to play in the third. This is the Cowboy Radio Network. Time to go, Texans go all the way. And now you can go even farther using less fuel in a 2006 Ford Explorer. For a limited time, get financing as low as 0% for up to 60 months. Or choose cash rebates up to five grand. Plus, save big on a fuel-efficient 2007 Ford Escape. Right now, you can get cash allowances up to $2,000. Or pay just $9.99 down and drive one for only $2.89 a month. Ford SUVs are definitely the way to go. Visit your Texas Ford dealer. MoveForFree.com presents your move. This is Spike. This is Richard. He did not use MoveForFree.com. He used his weekends and all his spare time to find an apartment. And now he's moving himself. How 90s. Spike logged on to MoveForFree.com. Incredible deal on an incredible place. And he's moving for free. Heck, it's all free. The moral of the story? Don't be a dick. Log on. MoveForFree.com. The address for your next address. The seven-time award-winning Suzuki King Quad. But sitting around. 59 bucks goes a long way these days at your local Suzuki dealer during quad fair. Bruce Redden's kickoff taken by Kerry Franks. Now he's running on the left sideline with one blocker in front. Franks to the 45 of Oklahoma State and knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line of the Cowboys. A 47-yard. Well, you don't want to give up big momentum plays. Your defense has done such a good job, and they give up the touchdown. So a 47-yard kickoff return after Redden's kickoff, and A&M will have good field position, first and 10 from the Oklahoma State 49. A&M came into the game, outstanding kickoff return unit. And it was actually Pierre Brown, let me correct myself, who busted that return for the Aggies. So Brown cuts loose with one. Texas A&M, first and 10 from the Cowboy 49. McGee in the shotgun gets the snap, hands it off on a draw play to Goodson, running straight ahead to the 46 of the Cowboys and down to the OSU 45. Cowboys starting quarterback Bobby Reed out for the game. He's at Stillwater Medical Center being evaluated. 
McGee in the shotgun. Gets the snap on second and six. Keeps it on the zone read. Running to his left. Big hole to the 40. Has a first down and all the way down to the Cowboy 35. A gain of 10 yards as Andre Sexton once again was there to make the tackle. First down, Texas A. Well, some open spaces for the Aggies so far on this drive. And again, you get a little momentum when you get a big kick return like that. Victor the Great kind of came a little bit too far inside of the pursuit. Didn't have McGee on the edge. He ran around his side and was able to pick up the first down. Two receivers to the right, Taylor and Ryland. Single receiver, Schrader split to the left. Martellus Bennett goes in motion to the right side. McGee in the shotgun on first and 10. Hands it off to Lewis. No, it's McGee keeping it. Running on the right side to the 30 and brought down at the 26-yard line of Oklahoma State. Donovan Woods made the tackle as McGee with a beautiful fake. Pulled the defense and ran it on the right side for nine yards. It'll be second and one. Well, that's worked several times tonight. McGee, rather crafty with that play fake. But you know, you're getting down to the, the Cowboys have given up yardage once a and gotten in the red zone. They've been pretty tough, except for that last drive of the first half. Stephen McGee, the quarterback, 11 rushes for 61 yards. Jaborski Lane, the 275-pounder in at tailback, out of the eye on second and one. Lane gets a handoff straight ahead. Big hole, has a first down and more. Rumbling down to the 20 and pushing it down to the 18-yard line of Oklahoma State. An eight-yard gain. Donovan Woods there to make the tackle. First down, Texas A&M. Cowboys lead the Aggies 13-10 with 8.51 left in the third. Well, he had time to pick his hole there. Now, once he got into that secondary, I'll tell you what, Donovan Woods laid a pretty good lick on him to get him down. First and 10, A&M from the Cowboy 18. McGee in the shotgun, bunch formation to the left. Now Bennett busts the bunch and goes in motion to the right as McGee gets the snap, hands it off on a draw play to Goodson. Running on the left side, turns a corner to the 15 and pushed out of bounds on the left sideline. All the way down at the Oklahoma State 11. Gain of seven, it'll be second down and three for Texas A&M from the Cowboy 11-yard line. Well, they're kind of doing to the Cowboys what the Cowboys did to them on their last drive. Running it with great success. And a missed tackle here or there makes a big difference with this A&M offense. Nothing but running plays for Texas A&M on this drive as they work into the wind, which is calmed down to maybe 15 miles per hour after gusting up to 40 mile, miles per hour at the beginning of the game. Goodson and Lewis in a split backfield. McGee in the shotgun. Single wide receiver to the right side, Howard Morrow. On second and three for A&M from the Cowboy 11. Cowboys lead 13-10 as we approach the midway point in the third quarter. Eight in the box for the Cowboys. McGee fields a low snap. Keeps it, running on the right side. Hit at the line of scrimmage and dropped at the 10 after a one-yard gain. Andre Sexton made the tackle. A third and two from the Cowboy 10. McGee under center. Fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, throws to the right side, the pass is caught for a first down by the fullback inside the five and tackled out of bounds. Chris Alexander, the fullback, making the catch and he's tackled on the right sideline at the Oklahoma State two. Very well executed play by Texas A&M. They gain eight yards and a first and goal from the Oklahoma State two. Well, you find out now your fullback, Alexander, can catch the ball. And McGee put it right on the money. Stephen McGee now, eight out of 11 for 102 yards. He's rushed for 61. First and goal A&M from the Cowboy two. Lane in it tailback out of the eye. It's a handoff to Lane, straight ahead, tries to bounce it to the outside, but he's tackled for a one yard loss back into three by Patrick Levine. The initial hole was clogged. The 275 pounder tried to bounce it to the outside, but the speedy Levine, who gives up about 60 pounds in that little tete-a-tete, -tete, tackled him for a one yard loss. Second and goal coming up from the three. Well, he came from the opposite side. Kind of a backside pursuit there. And that's the one thing you want to do with Lane. You know, even if you don't bring it down, make him think he needs to go outside. Offset eye, Lane the tailback again. a and second and goal from the Cowboy three. McGee under center, gets the snap, fakes a handoff, rolling out to his right, throws it, and it's incomplete. Boy, the Cowboys really had that well defensed as Nathan Peterson hit McGee as he tried to throw it to the right side to Riley in the right flat. Boy, and I'll tell you what, Peterson almost got a sack, and McGee made it. I'll tell you what, he just sort of flung that thing out there, and if a Cowboy defender would have had one more step to get there, 
that would have been an interception return for a touchdown the other way. Boy, Sexton and Levine both out there, but you know, McGee managed to get that far enough away. I think some fans thought, hey, intentional grounding, but there was a receiver in the vicinity. Okay, big third and goal coming up for AM from the Cowboy three. Cowboys lead 13-10 midway through the third. Out of the eye formation, the sophomore quarterback McGee under center. Now Goodson in a tailback. McGee gets the snap, runs the option, pitches it to Goodson, turns back toward the middle, and he swarmed and brought down at the two-yard line. They went to the speedy tailback, ran the option, and could not get it in. It'll be fourth and goal coming up from the two. Marquis Fountain made the tackle for Oklahoma State. Uh, it looks like they're bringing on their field goal unit. Looks like it. And watch the fake. Joe DeForest told us they had at least four fake field goals successfully executed in the last two years. you got to really watch out for it. Newman to attempt a 20-yard on the far hash mark. You'll have to slice it hard. Trying to tie the game. Snap back, ball down. And it's good. But the Cowboys, after AM with its powerful running attack, had a first and goal from the two. They are denied the end zone. With five minutes and 52 seconds left in the third quarter on a chilly homecoming 2006 at Oklahoma State, the homestanding Cowboys and number 23 Texas A&M Aggies are tied at 13. Cowboy football from Host Communications continues in a moment. The power. The speed. Stars hockey on FSN Southwest. Brendan Morrow and the Stars are paving their way back to contention with their balanced attack on the ice. But they'll have their work cut out for them when they play host to the Western Conference rival Red Wings. Stars hockey is unleashed. Stars, Red Wings, Friday on FSN Southwest. We have over 60 brand new Nissan Altimas in stock right now at Douglas Nissan, and we have to sell them cheap. You can lease a brand new 2006 Nissan Altima for just $199 per month. That's a month lease. If you'd rather buy it, $17,995. Why buy a used car for $17,995? That's zero down payment and $269 per month. Folks, when you buy a new Altima between now and the end of the year, you get free oil change for as long as you're in the Altima. You heard right. Free oil change as long as you're in the Altima. But folks, if you don't come see us, you will pay too much for your next new car. It's only a Douglas Nissan, home of the nice guys. Savor every detail. Feel every sound. Immerse yourself in stunning original programming. Live every moment in high definition. Discovery HD Theater. Your window on the world. at Boone Pickens Stadium. Five minutes seconds left in the third quarter. Texas A&M and Oklahoma State are tied at 13. Szymanski kicks off for A&M. It's a high, very short kick fielded by Parrish Cox at the left, on the left side of the 12. Left sideline to the 25 to the 30, and he pushes it all the way up to the Oklahoma State 36. A 24-yard kickoff return by Parrish Cox. So our Cowboys at Texas A&M are tied at 13. Five and a half minutes left to play in the third. Redshirt freshman Zach Robinson gets a shotgun snap for Oklahoma State. Runs the option to his right, keeps it to the 39, and he pushes it all the way up to the Oklahoma State 40. Gain of four before safety Melvin Bullitt made the tackle. Second and six, Oklahoma State from its own 40. Out of the eye. John Johnson, the fullback. Robinson fakes a handoff, drops back, throws it deep down the middle for a Darius. Pass is broken up. At the A&M 20-yard line, excellent coverage by Danny Gore, the cornerback who had an interception in the end zone in the first half. He was stride for stride with a Cowboy wide receiver Adarius Bowman who after catching 13 balls for a Big 12 record 300 yards last week against Kansas has yet to catch a ball tonight. It'll be third down and six for Oklahoma State from its own 40. Well Cowboys got what they wanted there. It was just one on one coverage and he did make a nice play on that ball to break it up. Cowboys are two out of seven on third downs. Third and six, Oklahoma State from its own 40. Tie game at 13. Robinson gets a shotgun snap, drops back, throws over the middle. The pass is caught near a first down at the 47-yard line. Artrell Woods, the true freshman, made the catch, just his second catch of the year, and boy, is it a big one. 
That's a six-yard gain, and they give him a Cowboy first down. Well, you got to like the way that Zach Robinson just stood tall in the pocket and delivered that ball. A strike to Woods. And that's Artrell Woods, folks, the true freshman out of Bryan, Texas. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 46. Robinson rolling out to his right, throws it down the field, and it's incomplete. Holy moly. That ball was almost intercepted. Brock Newton read the play perfectly. Cut in front of the intended receiver, Adarius Bowman. And the Cowboys avoid a disaster. It's incomplete. Second and 10 coming up, and let's go down to the field and Robert Allen. Oh, a couple of things on that last play there. Robinson could have run the ball. He had a lot of real estate in front of him because of a knockdown block on the edge by the Cowboys. The other thing I was going to mention, Artrell Woods in the rotation here. Remember, he works with Robinson every day on the second offense, a guy that he's very comfortable uh -huh. working with. That's a very good point, Robert. Thanks very much. Second and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 46. Zach Robinson, the redshirt freshman quarterback, gets a shotgun snap, fakes a handoff, and he's tackled for a six-yard loss back at the 40-yard line. He could not decide on that zone replay whether to hand it off or keep it. Indecision results in him being left back in the backfield in no man's land and being tackled for a six-yard loss. It'll be third down and 16 for the Cowboys from their own 40. And I don't think he totally had control of the football. Yeah, Hamilton you may be right. got past him a little bit, and if he tried to hand it off, there would have been a loose ball. Third and 16, Oklahoma State from its own 40. Cowboys three out of eight on third downs. Robinson in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, Brandon Pettigrew and Ricky Price. Two to the left, to Darius Bowman and to Juan Woods. Robinson gets a shotgun snap, drops back to pass. It's a shovel pass, and it's dropped. Intended for Mike Hamilton. I'm not sure he would have gone very far had he caught it. Incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down and 16. The Cowboy punt team will come out. But for the first time tonight, he'll punt with a wind at his back. Gets a snap at his own 25. Hits a driving line drive spiral fielded by Schrader all the way back at his own nine. Toward the right sideline to the 15, flight comes down, and Schrader goes down out of bounds at the 20-yard line of Texas A&M. Well, that's got to be against the Aggies. Yeah, it's a 51-yard punt by Fodge. And they may take the ball all the way back inside the A&M 10-yard line with this penalty, which is the first of the night, if my memory serves me correctly. And it was a block in the back there, Dave. Block in the back against A&M. And this is the first time, really, we've seen A&M have to operate starting out deep in their own territory. Tie game at 13, 316 left in the third. A&M first and 10 from its own seven. McGee in the shotgun, gets the snap, hands it off on the zone read. Off left guard goes Michael Goodson, the true freshman, for about three. Up to the A&M 10, it'll be second and seven. Andre Sexton made the tackle. High formation, Lane now the fullback. With Courtney Lewis, a tailback. McGee under center on second and seven from the AM 10. It's a delayed draw, handoff to Lewis. Big hole on the right side to the 15, to the right sideline to the 20, 25, and finally tackled out of bounds on the AM sideline, on the far sideline at the 32 yard line of AM. It's a 22 yard gain. Andre Sexton made the tackle, but the Aggies rushing the football very effectively here in the third quarter. Sexton had to come all the way across the field to make that play, and it was a big hole at the beginning. And Sexton might have had him in the hole, but he stayed after it and it tracked him down on the AM sideline. Texas AM in this third quarter has gained 64 yards on the ground. First and 10 Aggies from the AM 32. McGee in the shotgun gets the snap, runs his own read. He'll keep it running to his left to the 35. Ball. Fumbles a football, fumbles a football, and the Cowboys have recovered. The Cowboys have recovered at the 39-yard line of Texas A&M. Boy, great job. As many times as he has burned the Cowboys on that zone read play, to have two guys over there and force him up to the middle of the field, it looked like we'll see Nathan Peterson. I think it was Nathan Peterson. Sexton stripped it, and Peterson recovered it. Cowboys with good field position at the AM 39. Zach Robinson under center, fakes a handoff, drops back, throws over the middle, the pass is incomplete. Brandon Pettigrew, the tight end, had it, and he dropped it. The ball was a bit high, but Pettigrew probably should have caught it. Incomplete pass, second and 10 coming up. 
for Oklahoma State from the Texas A&M 39 with a minute 47 left in the third, and we're tied at 13. Well, I think he took a peek and saw Brock Newton, the defensive back right there, about to lay a lick on him as he brought the ball down. Pettigrew, well, he knows he wishes he had that one back right now. Dantrell Savage in a tailback. Robinson retreats to the shotgun. Savage to his left. Bowman and Dewan Wood split to the right. Ricky Price to the left on second and 10 from the AM 40. Wide snap. Robinson fields it. Runs the option to the left side. Keeps it. Can't go anywhere. Tackled for a one yard loss. Back at the 41. Red Bryant made a good play from the interior of the AM defensive line. And boy, that incompletion, maybe a ball that should have been caught, really haunts you now. It puts you in a third and 11 bind for Oklahoma State after recovering an A&M fumble. The line of scrimmage will be the Aggie 41. Minute 20 left in the third. A&M strung that one out very nicely that time. Three receivers, two to the right. Anthony Parks and Adarius Bowman to Juan Woods to the left. Robinson gets a shotgun snap on third and 11. Throws left side. The pass is caught for a first down to the 25 and carrying tacklers all the way down to the 22-yard line to Juan Woods made the catch and takes it down the field for 19 yards and an Oklahoma State first down. Well, you can't say enough about the job Zach Robinson's doing. Throwing the football. One mistake, and he didn't have to pay for it because they dropped the interception when he threw it right to an a and defensive back. But that one, again, right on the money. Critical third down pickup. Oh, yes. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the AM 22, tied at 13 with a minute left to play in the third as the Cowboys go from west to east, that is from left to right on your radio dial. High formation, Robinson under center, gets a snap, fakes a handoff, sets up, goes it deep to the end zone, wide open to Darius Bowman, makes the catch, pistols firing, touchdown, Oklahoma State! Bowman juggled it, but hung on to the end zone, and the Cowboys take the lead! look at this but you know the one guy you've been trying to keep two guys on all night is wide open five yards behind anyone all alone in the end zone and comes down with it Zach Robinson's eyes had to get as big as saucers there because the only thing was was he going to overthrow Bowman oh and Bowman at 6-4 had to use every amount of leaping ability he's been given to jump up there and pluck that one out of the air Extra point by Ricks. High snap, ball down, pick on the way, and it's good. Red shirt freshman Zach Robinson coming off the bench in relief of Bobby Reed has led Oklahoma State to two third quarter touchdowns, and the Cowboys have a 20 to 13 lead over Texas A&M. The Woodward native strikes it. Oh, and this is a rocket headed toward outer space. Goes out of the end zone untouched. A&M will start from its own 20-yard line. And Renton, whose nickname is Sunshine, brought a big sunshine smile to the Cowboy fans. USU bench when he kicked that one through the end zone, and A&M will start first and 10 from its own 20. With 48 seconds left in the third, and Oklahoma State on top, 20 to 13. Jaborski Lane and Courtney Lewis split backs. McGee in the shotgun on first and 10. McGee runs his own read, hands it off to Lewis, and he's tackled at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Victor DeGrain and Larry Brown teamed up. Two members of the Cowboy defensive line and end and nose guard respectively. They make the play and force AM into a second and 10 from its own 20. That may be the last play of the third quarter. Well, Larry Brown just manhandled the left guard there, Kirk Elder, and was able to help DeGrain have a lane to get running back. Three quarters in the books in Stillwater. Will Zach Robinson's name go into Cowboy legend? As a man who rallied off the bench, rallied the offense off the bench to win homecoming 2006 against top 25 opponent Texas A&M. Right now, looks like he just might. Ready for the fourth quarter. Oklahoma State 20, number 23, Texas A&M 13. Fourth quarter's coming up on the Cowboy Radio Network. They're the number one trucks in Texas. With power and payload folks here need. A level of refinement unmatched by any competitor. And more trucks on the road with over 250,000 miles than any other brand. Now get a new F-150 Texas Edition with 5,000 cash back or 0% financing for 60 months. Get to your Texas Ford dealer today and make your move. Ford is the best in Texas. 
MoveForFree.com presents your move. This is Spike. This is Richard. He did not use MoveForFree.com. He used his weekends and all his spare time to find an apartment. And now he's moving himself. How 90s. Spike logged on to MoveForFree.com, found an incredible deal on an incredible place, and he's moving for free. Heck, it's all free. The moral of the story? Don't be a dick. Log on. MoveForFree.com, the first address for your next address. Geico Motorcycle Insurance. Serious protection for serious riders. Geico. One call could save you money on your motorcycle insurance, too. Let's ride. Whether you're a casual rider or a hardcore biker, Geico Motorcycle Insurance has you covered. No wonder thousands of riders are switching to Geico each week. Geico. One call could save you money on your motorcycle insurance, too. Let's ride. Start of the fourth quarter. Here at Boone Pickens Stadium, the Cowboys on top of Texas A&M 2013. Tonight's stats brought to you by Oklahoma Propane. As you look at the numbers through three quarters, Cowboys with 220 total yards and the time of possession still in favor of A&M, but that's about it. Zach Robinson, 5 of 11 in relief of Bobby Reed for 68 yards with two touchdowns. Oklahoma Propane, clean, safe, dependable propane delivery. A&M second and 10 from its own 20. Split backfield. Stephen McGee, the sophomore, takes a shotgun snap, runs his own read, pitches it to Goodson on the option. Left side, big hole to the 25 to the 30. 35 and tackled out of bounds on the far sideline. All the way up at the A&M 41-yard line. They faked the zone read, then ran the option to the left. Very crafty and well-designed play. Gains 21 yards before Donovan Woods made the tackle. First down, Texas A&M. Well, no one home for the Cowboys on that left side. When you run the option, you have to account for the quarterback and for the pitch man. Roderick Johnson was there for McGee, but no one was at home. And you saw Donovan Woods and Andre Sexton talking about it afterwards. Offset eye formation. Goodson, the tailback, the true freshman. McGee under center on first and 10 from the A&M 41. It's a delayed handoff to Goodson. Avoids a tackler in the backfield. Goes to the left sideline to the 45 to midfield. Has the first down and is punched out of bounds by Andre Sexton at the Oklahoma State 47. A gain of 12 as Goodson sidestepped the tackler in the backfield. Then found room to run on the left side. Gaining 12 yards and another Texas A&M first down. Well, that's just a great individual effort there by Goodson because he stopped cold, let the defender kind of slide by, and then he turned it on. Texas A&M has rushed for almost 100 yards in the second half, and we're just 30 seconds into the fourth quarter. Now the Yankees go to an empty backfield with five receivers, three to the right, two to the left. McGee in the shotgun on first and 10 from the Cowboy 47. Cowboys show the blitz. Here they come. McGee tries to throw a screen pass. The pass is caught by Schrader, but he's tackled in the backfield for a three-yard loss back at midfield. Patrick Levine made a good play to tackle the senior wide receiver for negative three. It'll be second down and 13. Well, it looked like there could have been a face. No flag down. And I'll tell you what, Darnell Smith was back in McGee's face so quickly, he, he kind of double-clutched that ball before he yes. threw it. Now you have AM where you want them. Second and 13 from midfield. High formation. Chris Alexander and Courtney Lewis at full tailback respectively. McGee under center. Riley goes in motion to the right side as McGee gets the snap. Drops back to pass. Throws far side. Man open. It's caught by the tight end. First down to the Oklahoma State 35. And Joey Thomas punched out of bounds at the Cowboy 33-yard line. A gain of 14 yards and another Texas A&M first down. That's a good pass by McGee because Van Zandt is over there. Sexton coming on the backside to support the safety position. But he just dropped it over Martel Van Zandt's head. And A&M on the move again. This drive started at the Aggie 20, and they've taken it to the Cowboy 33. Early in the fourth, Cowboys lead the Aggies 20 to 13. Javorski Lane in a tailback. Out of the I formation with Alexander at fullback. First and 10 from the Cowboy 33. Lane gets a handoff, lumbering straight ahead, and he dives forward up to the 30, running off left guard. Victor DeGrate made the tackle. Gain of three. Second and seven, Texas A&M from the Cowboy 30 coming up. This is a little strange. On second and seven from the Cowboy 30, McGee gets the snap. Drops back to pass. Under pressure. Hit from behind and sacked for a one-yard loss. Back at the 31-yard line by Victor DeGrate, who came into the game eighth in America in sacks, and he picks up his seventh sack of the year. It'll be third and eight for a and from the Cowboy 31. Well, that's only Victor DeGrate working on 6'8", 295-pound sophomore Travis Schneider, holding Schneider up and then just kind of throwing him aside as McGee came by. 
All right, big third and eight for Texas A&M from the Cowboy 31. 12 and a half minutes left in the fourth. Cowboys lead the Aggies 20 to 13. Empty backfield, McGee in the shotgun. Goodson split out to the right as he went in motion. Third and eight from the Cowboy 31. McGee gets the snap, four-man rush, pocket collapsing. Now he'll scramble, running to the left of the 25 to the 20. Left sideline to the 15 and spun out of bounds at the Oklahoma State 10-yard line. A gain of 22 on a third and eight, and A&M picks up a first and goal. Boy, he's been able to burn the Cowboys with this. They've spread them out. The Cowboys had one safety deep, only one linebacker in the middle of the field, and Roderick Johnson just missed him. He ran right by Johnson. And Donovan Woods, boy, he caught him a little bit up high, too, but no, no face mask on that. The only good thing about this is, Dave, the Cowboy defense has been pretty solid tonight once a has been knocking on the door. On second and goal twice, the Cowboys have held them to field goals. Now it's first and goal from the Cowboy 10. Out of the offset eye, it's a delay handoff to Goodson. Running on the left side to the 7 and knocked down at the 6. A gain of 4. Roderick Johnson made the tackle. Second and goal for A&M. A&M coming up from the Cowboys 6. 11.50 left in the fourth. Cowboys lead 20 to 13 over number 23, Texas A&M. And let's see if the Aggies try to pound it at the Cowboys up the middle. When they've gotten down in here, they've abandoned that. They made them, or they forced A&M to try to run wide or throw it wide, run off tackle. They haven't been able to pound Lane. And he's, he's not, not out there there. right now. Goodson's in there at tailback with a fullback, Alexander, in the offset eye on second and goal from the six. McGee under center. Gets the snap. Hands it off to Goodson, running on the right side, and he swarmed and tackled for about a two-yard loss back at the eight. Roderick Johnson made the hit. Now you've got them third and goal from the Cowboy eight-yard line. Third and goal for AM from the Cowboy eight. Three receivers, now four receivers. Goodson goes in motion to the left side. Five receivers in the game. McGee in the shotgun on third and goal from the eight. Gets the snap. Drops back, throws over the middle, and the pass is broken up. Oh, Incomplete, no. but a flag comes down at the goal line, and it may be pass interference against the Cowboys. It was intended for Martellus Bennett, the tight end. Well, it'll be on Sexton if it is pass interference. That's exactly what the call is. And I wonder if they'll show a replay of this one, because hard to tell again from our angle up here. But you had help on that. I thought the ball might have been picked off for a moment. Yeah. We're going to get another look at it right here. From up top, behind that end zone. And that's hard to say. Maybe there was some contact behind. It was thrown by the official at the back of the end zone. So it'll be a first and goal after the penalty. The first for Oklahoma State tonight from the Cowboy 2. Out of the offset eye. Now Lane in there at tailback. McGee hands it off to Lane straight ahead, lumbers his way toward the end zone, and he piles his way in. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And the fans are not happy with that pass interference call. Not one bit. Point after attempt will try to give A&M a tie game at 20 with 10.28 left in the fourth. Well, there's no secret to that one. I mean, they hadn't had much success a little bit farther away from the goal line, but... You figured Lane was going to be able to move it two yards. His 15th touchdown of the year, leading 1A college football players. Newman in for the tie the game. Snap high, ball down, kick on the way. It's good. 10-28 left in the fourth. Oklahoma State and number 23, Texas A&M, are tied at 20. 11 plays and 50 yards for the Texas A&M touchdown. Cowboys get a pass interference call on third and goal at the eight. That's set up Dvorsky Lane's two-yard TD run, and we're tied at 20. This is a high short kickoff by Szymanski. Fielded by Parrish Cox on the left side at the 10, trying to reverse his field to the 12, and he's swarmed, and his forward progress is stopped at the 12-yard line. Cox tried to go all the way back across the field as he caught it on the right side and didn't work out at all. Robinson in the shotgun, replacing the injured Bobby Reed, who suffered a concussion early in the second quarter. Gets a shotgun snap, hands it off to Savage on the zone. Reed running off right guard to the 15, and he pushes it up to the 16-yard line of Oklahoma State. A flag has come down. I think it's on A&M. May have been one of our favorite words in Croachman. My God. It is. Offside. Offside, Texas A&M. 
Well, that's Michael Bennett, the reserve defensive end, who is the brother of tight end Martellus Bennett. Maybe thought he was a tight end. I don't know. Well, that's, that's one of those that just drives coaches nuts when you line up in the neutral zone. You didn't jump in there. You lined up there. So the penalty makes it a first and five for Oklahoma State from its own 17. Tied game at 20 with 9.44 left in the fourth. High formation. Zach Robinson under center. Gets the snap. Hands it off to Savage. Trying to turn a corner right side. Does. To the 25. Blocker in front to the 30. And hit hard out of bounds at the 33-yard line. And a late flag comes in. It'll be a late hit against Texas A&M. And they'll move the ball up another 15 yards. He was knocked out of bounds on the A&M bench. And then a good two yards out of bounds. He was hit again. And A&M, which is a team that doesn't suffer many penalties, really made a, a bad decision there. Jonathan Batson, the reserve free safety, a junior college transfer, was the one who made the late hit. Good grief. Well, before that, Savage, with the ability to bounce it outside and get to the edge before the linebackers and Bullet came up to make the play. That's that's uh, not, not the horse that runs out on the field, by the way, <laughs> after the OSU scores. Second and six, Oklahoma State from the A&M 49. Nine minutes left in the fourth. We're tied at 20. Zach Robinson under center, gets a snap, drops back to pass, now scrambling, throws it to the right side, the pass is caught, but out of bounds. They say he didn't Dewan have control. Woods was juggling the football as he tried to make a leaping catch at the Texas A&M 33. Boy. So it'll be third down and about six from the Aggie 49. Zach Robinson got away from the pressure. John Johnson helped out with a good block on a blitzing linebacker on the right side, but he stepped up and just put a little too much on that ball, I think. Just a little too much. Cowboys are four out of ten on third downs. One back set with Mike Hamilton in there. Robinson under center. Parks and Bowman split to the left. The one Woods to the right on third and six from the AM 49. The red shirt freshman barking out the signals. AM shows a blitz. Here they come. It's a handoff to Hamilton straight ahead to the 46, and he pushes the ball. Down to the AM 45 yard line. A gain of four. It'll set up a big fourth and two. Well, this is, uh, you know, you wonder about this one. You got eight and a half minutes to go, the clock running. Yeah, you got to kick this one away, and you got to hope that your defense can keep AM from running the ball the way they have before they get in the red zone, like they have all second half. Fourth and two Cowboys from the AM 45. 8.15 left. Tied at 20, Fodd standing at his own 41. You don't pull a fake here, do you? Oh, I don't know about that. We'll have to see about that. Schrader deep at his own 10 to return it. Fodge gets a snap, steps into it. High booming spiral, they hit this way too hard. It goes eight yards deep into the end zone for a touchback. 45-yard punt. Fodd surely wishes he could do that one again. A&M will start first and 10 from its own 20. Timeout on the field. 7.57 left. Oklahoma State and number 23, Texas A&M, are tied at 20. Cowboy football for Post Communications continues in a moment. The Rockets tip off on FSN. Another fierce season looms for the Rockets, and only FSN provides you with a complete breakdown of the upcoming season. The Houston Rockets season preview, tonight on FSN Houston. Reggie Miller overcame a crippling ailment to become an NBA legend. He's the greatest athlete that ever came through here. And was notorious for his style. He was unleashing his wrath. Reggie Miller, Beyond the Glory, Sunday on... What is Texas Country? four-letter word. K-O-R-A. 98.3 is Texas country. America's best price leader, Varsity Ford, has 0% interest for 72 months. If you're paying more than 0%, come into Varsity Ford today. Get 0% for six years and a $1,000 rebate on every 2006 Ford Expedition. Get one today with seating for nine for only $315 per month. Take home America's muscle card for only $257 per month or drive away in an F-150 Super Crew for only $308 per month. Visit America's best price leader, Varsity Ford, on the bypass or online at varsityflm.com. Oh, we're Southwest Fans Hour first. FSN Southwest. 
7.57 left in the fourth. Oklahoma State and Texas A&M are tied at 20. Danny Randolph has pointed out neither team has scored back-to-back -back in this game. A&M and OSU have basically just traded scores. Aggies first and 10 from their own 20. McGee in the shotgun gets the snap. Hands it off to Lewis on the zone. Reed running on the left side, and he's tackled for no gain. It'll be second down and 10. On second and 10, McGee gets the snap. Quick throw over the middle. It's caught by Irvin Taylor to the 30 and tackled at the 31. A gain of 11. Taylor cut in front of Jacob Lacey, made the catch on the timing route, the slant. It's 11 yards and a Texas A&M first down from its own 31. It's pretty hard to jump that one, too, because you don't have a whole lot of room on the backside for Eric over there. So Lacey just in position. It's a nice throw and catch. 6.51, 6.50 left to play in the fourth. A&M and Oklahoma State tied at 20. High formation. Jaborski Lane in at tailback now. McGee under center. Schrader going in motion to the far side on first and 10. McGee fakes a handoff, drops back, wants to throw short, and the pass is incomplete. Overthrown, intended for the fullback, Alexander, out of the backfield. Jeremy Nathon had jumped the route, and McGee basically threw the ball away. Had he tried to complete it, it may have been a disaster. Incomplete pass, second and 10 coming up for a &M. Well, if he throws it out there, Nathon, if he catches it, scores a touchdown. Yes, he you. does. Good decision by the sophomore quarterback. Stephen McGee, a first-year starter for the Aggies. Again, you got him in second and long, Dave. They, you let him off the hook with that completion on the last series. Courtney Lewis now the tailback to the left of McGee and the shotgun on second and 10. Aggies at their own 31. It's a draw play handoff to Lewis. Running off right guard, weaving through traffic to the 34, and he dives forward up to the A&M 36. A five-yard gain before Patrick Levine, the true freshman linebacker, made the tackle. This is a huge one. Third and five for the Aggies at their own 36. McGee in the shotgun, Lewis to his right. Cowboys rush four, McGee quick throw over the middle. The it up, incomplete at the 41 yard line. The true freshman Parrish Cox timed the play perfectly as he knocked it away from Irvin Taylor. It's fourth down and five and the Aggies with five minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth and a tie game at 20. Look like they'll have to punt. Well, this isn't the area of the field where you normally in this type of game punt, but you know, Franchoni being who he is, you, you never know. But a great stand by your defense right there when you needed it most. Justin. And a funky formation here too, Dave. Three guys out way left. Yeah, it's like a gate with the shield formation. Brantley gets a snap, steps into it. This is a high, booming spiral, a great punt. Cox has to run away from it. The ball bounces at the 10 and is downed at the Cowboy 8-yard line. Boy, give Brantley credit. He really hit that one well, a 55-yard punt with the wind at his back. No bigger deal, though, than this third and seven for Oklahoma State from its own 12 with 4.39 left in the fourth. And the Cowboys at Texas A&M are tied at 20. Savage in a one-back set as Robinson goes to the shotgun. Zach gets the snap, wants to set up a screen, throws it to Bowman. Bowman up the middle to the 15, to the 20, has a first down, and tackled at the 23-yard line. A gain of 11 yards to Adarius Bowman, the cornerback, Danny Gore, finally pushed down Adarius Bowman. What a big play. First down, Oklahoma State. And Bowman, you know, you talk about last week, he came out of his shoe one time. He was either there at Kansas State. He came out of his shoe again. Screen game, Larry Fedora didn't think it would work as well against AM scheme, but it was big right there. Second catch now for Bowman for 34 yards on the night. First and 10 Cowboys from their own 23. Zach Robinson in the shotgun. 4.15 left in the fourth. As the Cowboys work into the win. Robinson runs his own read, keeps it running to his right, to the 30, to the 35, and he steps out of bounds all the way up at the Cowboy 36-yard line. There's that speed and running ability we talked about from Zach Robinson, the redshirt freshman, as he gained 13 yards and a Cowboy first down. Well, that was big play and a he great can run. fake he can by run, Robinson. Brother. He really can because, you know, he fakes to Savage, and that takes at least four or five A&M defenders, and he's all alone on that right side. Oh, he now he can run. Let me tell you now, he can run more than you might think. First and 10, Oklahoma State from its own 36. 406 left in the fourth. High formation as Robinson gets a snap, hands it off to the tailback, straight ahead to the 39 and pushing it forward to the 40. Dantrell Savage, who now has 10 carries for 64 yards, all in the second half. He gains four off left guard. 
It'll be second and six for the Cowboys from their own 40, but they moved out away from their own end zone as they started this drive at the Cowboy 9. Well, that, that was mostly Savage on that play, too, just fighting forward for yardage. Savage in a one-back set. Robinson under center. Two tight ends on second and six at the handoff to Savage. Trying to turn a corner left side. Big hole to the 45 to midfield. To the 40. Cuts to the middle. 35, 30, 25, 20. To the right sideline. 15, 10. Cuts to the middle of the five. Pistols firing. Touchdown. Dan Trill Savage. coordinator Larry Fedora on Friday, Dave. One of the things he talked about was how AM likes to funnel you to the outside, and we talked in the pregame about how that plays to some of OSU's strengths, specifically Dantrell Savage. And Dave, you said it before the game, too. Hey, Dantrell Savage is a pretty good pick for man of the hour. Hey, that guy has got great feet. I mean, he's got great feet. I don't know if he can, but I like him on a football field. Rick's on for the point after to try to make it a 27-20 lead. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, and it's good. A 60-yard touchdown run by Dantrell Savage. 11 carries for 124 yards, a career best, and the Cowboys with a 27-20 lead over Texas A&M with 324 left in the game. momentum play now and you have the lead so the last thing you want to do is put your defense in a tough spot kick coverage has not been exactly the best tonight the a and has been able to return it a couple of times out to midfield or into osu territory you really want to kick it deep and pin them back there don't give AM a running start so to speak with less than three and a half to go Boy, we get another look at Savage on the uh, replay here. A couple of little head fakes and across the field, and he was watching that safety from about the 30-yard line in and just waiting for him to commit. Cowboys will have to kick off into the wind. Let's go down to Robert Allen on the sideline. Well, one thing you got to remember, and he didn't get a good, clean block, but you got to give DeJuan Woods credit. He was running interference, and just him being down there gave Savage the opportunity to get the last three yards and finish the run because the A&M defender got sideways. Bruce Redden will kick it off. You've got the leading kickoff return man in the Big 12 deep to return it, Terry Franks. Redden, the right-footed soccer-style kicker, hits a knuckleball that bounces at the 20, goes inside the 15, and goes out of bounds at the 13. Well, A&M will get the ball after the penalty. Get it at the 35-yard line. And all things considered, Dave, considering the last two kicks that I don't know that that's up, a bad thing. I mean, this will be worse starting field position for the Aggies in the last few times they return kicks. Well, the kickoff coverage unit's been a big concern of Joe DeForest all year, and now you're facing the fifth-best kickoff return team in America who's already busted a couple on you. Cowboys go with four defensive backs. They're not in the nickel package. On first and ten, it's a delayed handoff to Goodson. Trying to turn the corner on the left side and tackle from behind after a five-yard gain at the 40-yard line by Victor De Great. McGee, the quarterback, threw a good block out there to try to free him up. He got five yards on the carry. It'll be second and five for the Yankees. 246, 245, 244 left. This is not an AM strength. Trying to run a hurry-up offense and get a touchdown in the last two and a half minutes. Boy, the great fought off a little shield block by Javorski Lane there to get out there and, and catch Goodson because he had some room if he'd have gotten by Victor. Second and four AM from its own 41. Cowboys 27, Aggies 20. 225 left in the fourth. McGee in the shotgun with Javorski Lane to his left. On second and four, McGee pumps, wants to throw it deep, throws it deep down the near side, man open, and the pass is dropped, incomplete, at the Cowboy 27-yard line. Irvin Taylor had two steps on Jacob Lacey, the Cowboy defensive back. It's incomplete. Third and four coming up for the Aggies from the A&M 41 with 2.13 left in the game. That's because Lacey bit just a little bit on that fake and allowed the receiver to get behind him. And Cowboys dodge a bullet right there. A&M is 5 of 11 on third down. This near capacity crowd, everybody in their winter attire on their feet on a cold homecoming night in Stillwater. Third and four A&M from its own 41. Empty backfield, McGee in the shotgun. 
Cowboys will have three down linemen. Third and four as McGee gets the snap. Drops back. Pocket collapsing. And he's sacked. He is sacked all the way back at the 31-yard line. Nathan Peterson and Victor DeGreat with just three men rushing the quarterback collapse the pocket. And A&M will have fourth down and 13 with a minute 54, a minute 53. Time running. That's the time left in the fourth quarter. Boy, what a great push up front. Corey Clark could not handle. Victor DeGreat on that right side, and Peterson just coming in as well. That defensive front, you cannot say enough about what that defensive front has done tonight. John, did I miscount? That's a three-man rush, was it not? There were three guys rushing the ball, and, you know, you had good penetration up front by the Cowboys. You know, Marcus Cummings had a good push, but he was lined up inside. Really defensive, coming, yeah. defensive end. And so he helped tie up two blockers and let the great Peterson do their work. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Again, the shotgun. Two receivers to each side. Jaborski left one back set. To the left of the sophomore quarterback, Stephen McGee. Cowboys in the Joker package with three down linemen and five defensive backs. Fourth and 13. McGee gets a snap. Drops back, sets up, he may scramble, he dumps it off short. A nice catch made by Lane to the 45, has a first down, and he takes it all the way up to the A&M 49-yard line. Javorski Lane at 275 pounds showed a heck of a lot of athletic ability to reach out and grab that wide throw and advance it up the field for 17 yards. Now down to a minute 33 left as A&M converts the fourth and long. Well, it's just an athletic play both by McGee and by Lane. As you mentioned, he reaches back behind him to make that catch. First and 10 A&M. Clock running, minute 23 left. Cowboys up 27-20. McGee in the shotgun. Cowboys show the blitz with three down linemen. They rush five. McGee back to pass, under pressure. Throws near side, it's incomplete. At the Cowboy 30-yard line, boy, McGee had to unload it in a hurry. Intended for Chad Schrader at the Cowboy 30. It'll be second and 10 for A&M from the Yankee 49 with a minute 14 left in the fourth. This capacity crowd standing with the Oklahoma State Cowboys, the homestanding team, up 27 points. Well, Martel Van Zandt with good coverage on Schrader, and Nathan was back there helping out as well. And a pretty smart decision by McGee. That stops the clock as well. Three receivers to the left, two to the right. Empty backfield, McGee in the shotgun. On second and 10 for A&M from its own 49. Cowboys with three down linemen. McGee gets a snap, throws a wide receiver screen, caught by Schrader, but he's tackled from behind for just a two-yard gain at the Cowboy 49 as Victor DeGreat came flying in from behind to tackle the senior wide receiver. Clock running, 58, 57, 56 seconds left. A&M with two timeouts. Third and seven coming up for the Aggies from the Cowboy 48. Down to 50 seconds left. Cowboys up 27-20. A&M with the ball going left to right. McGee in the shotgun. Third and seven, he gets the snap. Blitz coming under pressure. Throws over the middle. Pass caught by Schrader. First down to the 35 and tackled at the Cowboy 30 with 37 seconds left. Well, they're in that area now where they can take a shot at the end zone if they can get somebody down there enough. Now Cowboys trying to get a man on. Marquis Fountain. A&M's ready to snap it. McGee in the shotgun. 30 seconds left. Gets the snap. Sets up. Throws. Right side pass is caught to the 20, all the way down to the 15. Irvin Taylor made the catch. First down, Texas A&M from the Cowboy 15 with 23 seconds left. Boy, Levine, I think, is down over there inside the, about the 19-yard line. Patrick Levine is sitting down. A&M converted a fourth and 13 from its own 32 to keep this drive alive. As Javorski Lane made a heck of a catch as McGee was flush from the pocket. Remember, at the conclusion of today's game, we'll choose our Oklahoma Beef Council player of the game, brought to you by the Oklahoma Beef Council. Dantrell Savage, 60-yard touchdown run, gave the Cowboys a 27-20 lead just a few moments ago. With 324 left. A&M has marched from its own 35 to the Cowboy 15. Oklahoma State 27, Texas A&M 20. Aggies will have a first and 10 from the Cowboy 5 when play resumes. Coming up this week on your Toyota Truck Outdoors Report, we'll be anchoring the show from the site of the National Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship from Lake Louisville, Texas. The Toyota Truck Outdoors Report, tonight at 10.30 on FSN Southwest. 
Five with the bottle? How about that? Oh, no! We're four and a half and we got a race. Lose the race, lose your ride. Pigs, exclusively on speed. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. McGee in the shotgun, empty backfield. And Marquis Fountain is out covering a receiver. McGee gets a snap, delayed blitz coming, throw to the right side, caught by Schrader to the five, and knocked out of bounds. A flag is down. It is roughing the passer against Oklahoma State. Pass complete for 10 yards and an AM first and goal. And they'll tack that on to the end of the play, half the distance to the goal. 16 seconds left. AM will have a first and goal at about the two. Cowboys 27, Aggies 20. Now you're probably going to get a dose of Jaborski Lane. The Aggies have two timeouts left, so they can try at least three running plays. 16 seconds left. 27-20, Oklahoma State. Offset eye. The 275-pounder Jaborski Lane, the tailback. First and goal from the three. McGee under center. Fakes the handoff, drops back, wants to throw, flush from the pocket, flings it out of the end zone, incomplete with 10 seconds left. And that play took a long wow. time, John. I'm they may have not. cost themselves with two timeouts. With two timeouts, I'm not sure why they chose to do that. You've got a 275-pounder back there with two timeouts and only three yards to go, and they tried to throw it. Now they've burned six seconds of the clock. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. They know that they've been stopped up the middle before tonight. Even the lane got in the end zone on their last touchdown drive. The Cowboys have done a pretty good job up front. So maybe they thought, let's try to fool them. Everybody thinks Lane's going to get it, and I think he's going to get it on this play. Lane's out there at tailback again. Goodson out there as well to go to the shotgun. McGee in the shotgun on second and goal from the three. He gets the snap, drops back to pass, wants to throw, sets up, scrambling straight ahead, flings it to the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Joey Thomas, the tight end, caught it as McGee, under pressure, sort of shot-putted the ball into the end zone for the score with three seconds left in regulation. All right, if you're A&M, you know Franchoni's thinking. You, you probably go to overtime. I mean, yeah. that's the percentage play here, but don't underestimate it. Well, I think with your running game as good as it is, in overtime, a team that can rush the football always has the advantage. 27-26, Oklahoma State, as we await the extra point. Well, you know, you mentioned that the team that rushes the football has the advantage. You look at the numbers up here tonight. A&M hasn't rushed it as well as OSU. Cowboys in 35 plays. Correct. 216 yards on the ground helped a lot by that 60-yard touchdown run by Savage. But, you know, you look at A&M, 45 carries for 213. 11 plays and 65 yards for Texas A&M, including a conversion on a fourth and 13 when McGee was scrambling through a pass that was really behind and wide of Jaborski Lane, who's really not known as a receiver. And the big fella at 275 pounds made a, a heck of a catch. you got to give him credit. And took the ball for 17 yards and an A&M first down, and the Aggies have now taken it to the end zone. Well, Lane Newman on for the point after. He's a senior. Hasn't missed a PA. I guess now would be a good time to start if you're a Cowboy fan. Keep an eye on the wings if there's a fake. Bennett is a wing on the left side. Snap high, ball down, kick on the way. It's good. Looks like we're headed to overtime. Tied at 27 with three seconds left. I'll we'll have to check on Patrick Levine's status. If he's out, you're down two starting linebackers. And as you go to overtime and you're starting quarterback. I mean, good grief. That makes it tough. Zach Carter had to play in those last few plays. He's hardly played this year. At least my, if my memory serves me right, he's hardly played. Szymanski will kick it off at three seconds left. And it's an onside kick that's going down the center of the field. And who's recovered it? I think the Cowboys may have at the 47-yard line. Time has expired. Looks like we're headed to overtime. 47-yard line. I, maybe A&M's recovered, but it's irrelevant. We're going to have an extra period, folks. We will have overtime. We'll keep it right here. Cowboys look like they might have the game in hand, at least a good chance to win it when Dantrell Savage cut loose on a 60-yard touchdown run and put Oklahoma State on top with 3.24 left in the game, but the Aggies go 11 plays and 65 yards and score with three seconds left to tie the game at 27. All right, overtime coin toss, and in the middle of it,
Robert Allen. Just Jason Ricks. Here's John you Bible. You cannot defer. You understand that. All right. What is it? Failed. What? Failed. It is. You want to play defense? You want to play defense? All right. Cowboys will play defense. A&M chooses to go where their crowd is into Gallagher Iba Arena, into the wall there. And again, that would be going west to east for both teams during the overtime. Okay, here are the overtime rules. You'll mark the ball at the 25-yard line, and you'll just play regular football from there, basically. If you get the ball into the end zone, you can kick or go for two, whatever you wish to do. That's how we'll set up for this first overtime period. Cowboys have lost their last four overtime games. Lost the one to Missouri we spoke of in 01. Lost in back-to-back -back weeks in overtime in 97 to Missouri and Texas A&M. Dropped an overtime decision at Missouri in 96 and won the first ever 1A overtime game against Missouri State here in Stillwater back in the 1996 season. Well, here's the deal. You get a turnover in the overtime situation when you're on defense first, that thing is almost as good as gold. But offensively, you don't have to panic. It's just like having the ball first and 10. The opponent's 25-yard line. You're just going to play ball. Tied at 27. A&M with the ball to start overtime at the Cowboy 25, first and 10. McGee runs his own read. Pitches it now on the option to Goodson. Left sideline to the 20. And knocked hard out of bounds at the 15-yard line and will have a late hit against Grant Jones of Oklahoma State. Uh, you have to know where you are on the football field. And Goodson was obviously out of bounds. Two officials threw the flag. And Goodson is still down there. Goodson may have went hard into the wall on the far sideline at the a &M bench, and they're attending to him there. They'll go half the distance to the goal line up to the Cowboys 7. We're in overtime. a &M has the ball first. We're tied at 27. a &M scored with three seconds left on a short touchdown throw and catch. I said Grant Jones may have been Zach Carter. The well, linebacker who was guilty, was it Grant? Car Carter was chasing, but okay. Grant Jones is the one who hit him. So Goodson's out. Jaborski laying in at tailback. First and goal A&M from the Cowboys 7. McGee will go to the shotgun. Schrader split to the right. Carry Franks to the left. First and goal, Texas A&M from the Cowboys 7. McGee in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Keeps it on the zone read, running on the left side. He dives toward the end zone. Did he get in? They're going to say he's just short. He's just short of the goal line at about the half yard line. Wow, it's a big hole once again. And, you know, they hadn't had that big a hole when they got close to the goal line, but this time they sure had it. It's good blocking up front. And Victor DeGrate just got a little too far inside, giving McGee enough room to get around him. Now the Cowboys go to their goal line Z defense. That means Xavier Lawson Kennedy's in there. Marcus Brown in at linebacker. Well, they're going to review they're gonna it review now. the play. See if he actually did. Or maybe it was his forward progress, Dave. <laughs> Joking, of course. Well, either way, you know, they're this close now. You'd be shocked if it wasn't either McGee trying to sneak or you hand it to Lane. You basically got three plays to try and punch it in from there. Well, the call on the field was correct. So they'll have second and goal from just outside the, the goal line. Well, now you need, you're going to get this thing stopped. You need a almost a miracle. Second and goal, A&M from about the half-yard line. As they go from left to right, we're in overtime. Tied at 27. McGee under center. Lane, the 275-pounder at tailback, as part of an offset odd. It's a handoff to Lane straight ahead, and he bulls his way into the end zone, but there's a flag down. There's a flag down at the one-yard line. Well, well, well. Let's see what that's about. Maybe it's a penalty against the offense. We'll see. 
Lane scored on the play. Well, he's looking for a number there. Offside, Offside. Oklahoma State. Touchdown a and Now the important point after. Newman will attempt it, try to make it 34-27, and the Cowboys will have the ball, and they'll have to score to keep the game going. We're in the first overtime in Stillwater. Newman will attempt it. The left-footed kicker. Snap back, ball down, kick on the way, it's good. Cowboys will have the ball in the first overtime in a tie game, or rather with Texas A&M on top, 34-27. Well, it's on Zach Robinson's shoulders. Yep. You know, and you, you got to wonder whether he even thought this would be a possibility when he showed up at the stadium today. I mean, oh, if, yeah. if you're a player, you always kind of get yourself ready for that possibility. But the probability, I don't think anyone thought that. Not in overtime, not with what's happened here in the second half. Dantrell Savage goes out at tailback. He's rushed 124 yards on 11 carries, all in the second half. Cowboys with the ball second in the overtime. A&M has already scored to go up 34-27. Cowboys have to score, kick the extra point or get two points. Robinson in the shotgun, gets a snap, fakes a handoff, drops back to pass, has time, throws it deep down the right side for Adarius Bowen, and it's incomplete. Boy, there was a lot oh of contact goodness. near the goal line as he was battling for position with Melvin Bullitt, the strong safety. Well, Bullitt kind of had him boxed out. You know, almost like getting a rebound. And Bowman had to fight around him. Yeah, he broke free and almost came up with a reception. Second and 10, Oklahoma State from the A&M 25. 34-27, A&M leads in the first overtime. Zach Robinson, the redshirt freshman, playing in relief of the injured Bobby Reed. On second and 10, gets the snap, hands it off to Savage, running straight ahead, lowers his head to the 20 and carries the pile forward to the 18-yard line. The initial hole was clogged, but the shifty running of Dantrell Savage gains about seven. It's third and three, and it's obviously a two-down situation. For the Cowboys having to score a touchdown to keep the game going. It'll be third and three from the A&M 18. Well, you'd figure the odds here are a running play. Yeah. Something with Savage. Robinson goes to the shotgun. Park split to the left to Darius Bowman. Dewan Woods to the right. Third and three from the AM 18. In overtime, AM up 34 27. Robinson gets the snap. Hands it off to Savage straight ahead, and he bulls his way forward. I think he has a first down running off left guard. Yeah, he's got it. The linesman has the spot beyond the 15 yard line. And if that's the case, it's a Cowboy first down. It is an Oklahoma State first down from the AM 15. Nice job by Savage, fighting forward. Adarius Bowman, Dewan Wood split to the right. Robinson in the shotgun. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the AM 15. Dantrell Savage in a one back set to Robinson's right. Eight in the box for the Aggies. Robinson gets the snap, drops back to pass, under pressure, throws the right side for Adarius Bowman. He makes the catch. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Well, There's a flag that comes down at the four-yard line. Are they going to call offensive pass interference? No, no it's, it's on, on a &M. M. It's a touchdown, I believe, to Adarius Bowman. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Holding on the defense. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Faking the option, throws Bullet over there, and he had to reach out and grab Bowman because Bowman was slipping behind him. Managed to do it anyway, despite all of that. Still made the completion and the score. Swinging gate formation, as is customary for the Cowboys on the extra point. Riggs will attempt it. Cole Reynolds will hold it. Zach Allen, young Zach will snap it. Make sure everything is clean here, boys. Try to tie the game. Right-footed kicker is Jason Ricks. Snap back, ball down. Line drive kick is blocked. It's blocked, and AM wins. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Texas AM 34, Oklahoma State 33. Obviously, a tough way to lose a ball game. But Want to 
second half. Two failed extra points. Sometimes you go through seasons and things just happen your way, and that's what's happening right now for Texas A&M. Because they put themselves in a big hole in San Antonio when they played Army. Probably should have lost that game and managed to hang on to the defensive stand. You rally at Kansas. It looked like the kick was low, John. Did it look yeah, that it, way it to looked, you? It, from up here. Did they have a the big push? Look, I think he just hit it really low. That, that's exactly what it looked like from up here. We haven't seen a replay up on the screen yet. Don't know if we will. Final score in overtime. Texas A&M 34, Oklahoma State 33.